All right. So today, class, what I want to show you is a couple of different hairstyle techniques. I'm just going to show you the basics that I'm, I'm going to do on these two heads here. Um, for the most part, when you do hair, um, sometimes less is more. So don't overdo it. You don't need too much going on here. Um, for this first one, we're going to do a hairstyle that's a little bit shorter. And typically when you do your hair, you want to kind of draw out a little bit of an outline of where it's going to go. Okay. It'll typically go up a little bit higher than your scalp. And you want to bring it down probably about a third the way down from the top of the head. In this case, I got a little bit of a bigger forehead. Go ahead and kind of bring it down a little bit more. All right, so I got something like this. Now, when you have the outline of the hair on here, i go ahead and kind of erase some of these other lines that I don't need there. Okay. Um, you want to think about you know where the highlights are going to be, where the, where the lighter areas are going to be. And typically, you're going to have them probably kind of in the middle section. So I always, I always tell kids, too, at the part, that's kind of where you're going to have a little bit darker. You know, maybe on the sides here, too, it's going to be maybe a little bit darker, too. And the lines are going to be a little bit shorter, okay? Um, typically, these might be a little bit longer, different lengths, okay? Different lengths. And sometimes you'll have some, some of the, the lines will kind of connect up a little bit, okay, in the middle here. It's not a bad idea, too. Sometimes it's kind of take a piece of toilet paper and just kind of smooth it in a little bit. Just add a little value to that. That's not a bad idea. But you know you do. you got your little highlight kind of in between here. If you need to kind of go back in, kind of lighten it up just a little bit more too, by all means, you can absolutely do that as well. Add a few lines in here. What you don't want to do though, guys, is this. You don't want to add um, too much, too many lines in there, okay? Um, and also too, you want to think about kind of the direction where the hair is going, okay? So if this hair is going to kind of flip up a little bit, or the strands are going to kind of go up, okay? You just kind of show a little bit of that motion. And two, notice too that the hair strands have a little bit of a, gosh, a little little bit of a, a, um, a curve to them, okay? They're not completely straight, all right? Maybe I'm going to kind of add a little bit on the top here too. Maybe this is going to be hair that's going to kind of be, be sticking up, a little spiky. You've got two different kind of hairstyles on each side of the head, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and kind of add a little bit of the tips in through here. you got some of the coming up in the scalp. Boom. Okay, so I got this through here. It looks like I can kind of raise a little bit in between here as well. Right. And then of course on the sides you're gonna keep it a little bit shorter. Okay. But otherwise this isn't too bad. Alright, this actually looks halfway decent. Alright. So we're gonna go ahead and kinda of keep it like this. And uh, like I said, you wanna be consistent. I went ahead and kinda of showed you maybe maybe two different kind of shorter hairstyles on one head. Um, but that's what you got going on there. And then for this one over here, um, if I'm gonna go ahead and kinda of keep it a little bit longer, once again you just kinda of wanna draw it out. Kind of the outline of where it's gonna go. And typically longer hair too is surprisingly quite a bit longer. So you want to kind of drape it down pretty far into the shoulder region, okay? In through there. And I'm just going to go ahead and kind of erase those lines that I got through here. And already, you know, it already captures kind of the movement, the, 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 the flow of the hair. And that's what you want. You want to have these lines capture that movement. And once again, you're going to have lines come out of the, the part. I know some are a little bit longer. If it's pulled behind the ear, you're going to have some lines kind of capture a little bit of that. And as it comes down kind of behind behind the ear here as well, a lot of times too that hair will be a little bit darker kind of back and through here. But notice, you know what? I don't need a lot. Don't need a lot of strands. Okay? Vary, vary the darkness. Got, it's got some darker strands in here. Got some medium medium values. If you need to, guys, you can add, add a little, little gradation in through here with your finger. You can use a little toilet paper. It's kind of nice too. But it's just kind of a nice way to kind of add a little bit more in through there. So that looks pretty good too. And of course, I'd want to finish it up on the other side. Okay. All right. So this looks pretty good. All right. These are kind of a couple different examples of hair that you can throw on. You know, big thing is this. Get the outline of the hair. Um, less is more with lines. Curve your lines a little bit. And make sure you do have variations of darker sections next to lighter areas. Okay. You don't want to fill everything up with just lines. I mean, that just... That, 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 it does not look like hair. It's just going to almost look like kind of like you just kind of get some scribbled lines in there. All right. You want to make sure you have those kind of sections that look like volumes of hair. And that's kind of what we're trying to create. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Can't wait to see what you create.